Welcome back, everyone. Let Archibald back with us today. Our movie reviewer extraordinaire. He saw Bullet Train. I was so happy for you because I know you've been wanting to see this for a long time, and sounds like it met your expectations. Yeah, this this honestly was a was a great time at the movies for me. Uh, Bullet Train follows uh, Brad Pitt, who's uh, an uh, an assassin, and he has a handler. Um, he's supposed to get on a train in uh, Japan. Uh, that's supposed to go to, I think it's Kyoto, um, and to, to, it's supposed to make a stop there. He's supposed to pick up a briefcase. That's all it's supposed to do. Um, he's been involved in other jobs, and he just says he has bad luck, um, and, and a bunch of horrible things always happen. So he's thinking that picking up a briefcase, pretty simple, but it's not simple. Um, there's a bunch of assassins on this train. And uh, they all want the same thing and uh, for, for all for different reasons. Um, so Brad Pitt has to fight off all of these other assassins. Um, it's a great time at the movies. And, and like I was saying right before we, we went on, um, if you remember after Pulp Fiction and El Mariachi came out, uh, but Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez came, um, you know, they did those movies. And there was a bunch of knockoffs, like Two Days in the Valley and, and things like that. Um, this was one of the good knockoffs. Um, and, and maybe maybe the best knockoff uh, out of all of them. This this movie has uh, chapters and cameo appearance. There's actually one cameo appearance in this movie that made me just die. I died so much. I loved it. So, I loved it. I love those kind of movies where they do that. It does sound very Tarantino-esque. You mentioned, like someone said, if you loved Kill Bill or John Wick or Murder on the Orient Express, and you thought, you know what? What happens if we just cram all these movies <laughs> together? I like yeah. the best parts of them, and, and that seems pretty accurate. That that is, and and you know, well, you know, if you if you you mentioned John Wick and the director uh, David Leach, uh, he directed John Wick and he directed Deadpool two. It's actually pretty funny. The um, you know, they, they advertise this as the director of Deadpool 2 as opposed to the director of the John Wick movies. And this is a, a, an action comedy. So I could see why they would say, you know, hey, they, this is director David Leach and he did Deadpool, Deadpool 2 uh, because this is, this is hilarious. This is a great movie. It's one of those, and I think about Brad Pitt when he first started, that he, he was always seen as this pretty boy who at first people said, I wonder if he can act or not. And he, I, th I think of him in early films like Thelma and Louise and that kind of thing. I feel like he's gotten better at his craft over the years and really has not lost a step. Brad Pitt is the second coming of Robert Redford. I think we all figured that out after Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But um, he's he's a pretty boy actor, but he can, he's a brilliant actor at the same time. Um, and he's also someone that gives a lot to other actors. Um, I think that's one of the, the cool things about Brad Pitt is he's he's really big into ensembles. He's really not. I mean, if you think about movies that he's done the the past few years, they've all been ensemble films. He, he really hasn't done a whole lot in the way of like you know, um, Brad Pitt's the star and Brad Pitt's the only main character. Um, you know, even the cameo appearance that he showed up in in the Lost City um, with with uh, Channing Tatum and Sandra Bullock. Um, you know, it, it was it was a great little role. But um, he knew that he had his time and that he got out. And, it's, and he, that's the kind of actor he is. And, and, you know, he was a producer on this film as well. Um, he just knows what he's doing right now. And, and, and right now, he, he's, he's at the top of his game. He, he can do no wrong in my book. How many Lenny's do we give this one? Um, I give this four and a half one. One of my favorite films that's come out this year. Um, yeah, this, this, just, this was a movie that just really could do no wrong. Um, and like I said, everyone has their uh, has their um, you know fair share of screen time. Um, Aaron Taylor Johnson is great. It's just like I said, great time. Excellent. I love that when you get a movie that's just fun to go through. Len, as always, we appreciate it, and we'll be back after this.